The Bank of America has upgraded the SoFi stock's rating from hold to buy despite SoftBank liquidating their position. Sit tight as we go through recent news as well as my chart analysis and price prediction for 19th September. But before we do that, subscribe to our channel Stocks 101 for regular stock market updates. With a $9 price target, an analyst from the Bank of America sees a meaningful path ahead for SoFi as the student loan moratorium comes close to an end and SoFi's NFL partnerships and advertisements bloom. SoFi is also making a mark in the banking sector as it has introduced a 1.8% interest on deposits. This increased their depositing members by about 70% as compared to the past year. Another bullish point is Galileo, a banking service company that SoFi acquired in 2020 for about $1.2 billion. Galileo's main clients are big companies like Robinhood and Wise. The banking services industry is expected to grow by about 5x by 2030 and talking about the fintech industry, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle have shown interest in Ethic which is another fintech startup, helping it raise $50 million. With all of these factors in mind, let's analyze the charts. So as you guys can see right here, we're now in the one day chart for SoFi on Sunday and first we'll analyze the one day chart, then the one hour chart and turn it off, we'll get into the five minute chart. Right off the bat, you guys can see that 13th September was the day that Nasdaq pretty much performed really poorly, right? So as you guys can see, we opened in a gap down from our price of $6.4 to a price of $6. And after that, we fell down even more and we got into an overall, I guess, 8% negative. Right after that, we recovered over here. We got hit by the same resistance over here that we got hit by on 2nd August before getting this massive um, gap up. I'm sorry for that. This, as you guys can see, wait, why am I getting that? Let me get the horizontal line. The $6.65 level acted as a resistance and obviously we're getting supported from the $6 area, right? Now there is a small problem here that, as you guys can see, we started the day off over here on 14th September around $6.06 and we got after a reversal from the $6.66 zone, we got a price of $6.05 on 16th September, which pretty much discarded the possibility of a bullish trend in the short term. As you guys can see, if this continued, then we could have gotten a bullish trend. But as you guys can see, we already broke it on the downside. And now I pretty much believe that we will open in a gap down on Monday as well. So if we were to look at the bigger picture, we can see that if we open up in a gap down, we wouldn't be at that bad of a state because we'd still be in a bullish trend. But I would believe that as long as we stay above this low that we made at $5.8, I believe. Let me mark that real quick for you. $5.8, $5.79. As long as we stay above this level, then we should be good. I believe that if we get over here on Monday at $5.9, right then we might get back over here on the 5.8 dollar zone on 21st right or 20th or 21st any day of that and as you guys can see after that we might challenge this resistance after bouncing back at 6.5 dollars once we get above it we'll probably swing around for some time over here and i hardly believe that the stock will break the 6.66 dollar resistance in september but after that, as we approach the year's end and the student loan moratorium's expiry date comes closer, we'll probably get the stock to break this and get back into the $7 area. After that, as you guys can see, there is a resistance over here. We made a double top here around $6.92. And then there is another resistance right on top of it around $7.2. And the next one would be over here around $8.5. If we talk about the support levels, in case we break this $5.8 zone, our next and last resort pretty much would be the $5.6 zone over here. And as long as we stay above that, we will have hope for recovery. So my price prediction would not be in line with the Bank of America price prediction. I believe that the stock probably will hit a price of $7.5 by the end of this year, but that would be still a pretty good return. If we take it from the current level, it would be about a 25% return. So if I were to place a swing trade for like, not exactly a swing trade, but a positional trade for three months, it would probably be here with a stop loss at 5.5 or $5.6 and a target of $7.5. Now there is another thing to this that never exactly put your target around 7.5. 
or rather any psychological level such as 7.5, 8, 8.5, right? Always keep them a bit lower for let's say 7.38 or 7.4 because that would, as soon as we get to the $7.5 level, a lot of other common limit orders would get triggered as well. So a lot of buying and selling would take place and in that, you might miss your chance to get your limit order placed. So that could result in a loss. Now let's get into the one hour chart to analyze the stock in detail and look for swing trades. So now that we are in the one hour chart, we can see the bigger picture rather the more detailed picture over here. As you guys can see, there is a small resistance here at $6.13 as well. We got resisted around the $6.1, $6.15 resistance level a lot of times, right? So first is over here, then over here twice. And after that, over here, as you guys can see, we got resisted over here at $6.1 as well. If we were to talk about the support, we are getting supported at this level around $6.4 as well. And after that, we're getting supported here around at this level of $5.9. If we do some candlestick analysis, we can see that on 16th September, we were pretty bearish, I would say. And as you guys can see, we did get a lot of selling pressure and we did make somewhat of a pen bar candle over here, right? This long wick indicates that there was a lot of buying pressure, but the sellers eventually took over. And after that, as you guys can see, we did end the candle off in about one point or rather 0.3 percent in the green but we did get a lot of volatility and a lot of bull versus bear moments so my guess is that we would take this 15th september trend into the 19th september trading session as well opening in a gap down that i already told you guys but i believe that there's not much to analyze in the one hour chart so let's get into the five minute chart and more detail as you guys can see right here we're now in the five minute chart and right off the bat you guys can see that there is a strong support for the intraday charts at 16 or rather 6.15 dollars i'm sorry for that as you guys can see strong support over here and another support over here around 6.05 dollars and then as you guys already know six dollars is the strongest support if we were to go into a bit more detail and analyze the candlestick patterns we can see that there was a lot of volatility despite some dry volumes over here so I would honestly consider the 16th September breakdown to be a bit, I would say, um, unsupported. So I believe that we can bounce back off right once we get back into this range of $6 and we get supported by it. Or if we get supported by our other level at $5.8, we will get back. And if I were to give you guys a detailed price prediction for the short term, I believe that 19th September would be ended in between $5.8 eight dollars so let me get that rate 5.8 dollars and six dollars so this would be the range for 19 september in my opinion and if i were to form a trade i would probably wait for the stock to get back to this range of 5.8 dollars once it gets a rebound from here so let's look at this real quick if it gets a rebound i would probably buy around the 5.9 dollar zone with 5.8 as the sl or rather stop loss and i would probably keep it a bit lower than that so like 5.78 dollars 5.77 dollars and the target would probably be around 6.15 because if my analysis is correct and the 19th september or rather 16th september breakdown was not exactly well supported then i believe that we might be able to break the six dollar resistance once we open in a gap down that is obviously and then we'll be able to break this resistance as long as we get good buying pressure so my bet is that the stock will go up eventually, right? Even though it won't go up probably in the short term, let me get into the one day chart real quick. It will eventually get back on its feet in the long term. So to summarize the video off, I am bullish on the SoFi stock, yes. But at the same time, I believe that it is bearish on the short term because we did get this breakdown over here and things are not looking that good for the five minute chart, for the 15 minute chart and those charts. So whichever trade you take, make sure that you put up a good SL and you use support and resistance methods as well. But anyways, remember that I could be wrong. So this is definitely not financial advice. This is just my own opinion. You should always do your own research before you trade. If you enjoyed my analysis, however, be sure to hit the like button. If you did not enjoy it, be sure to hit the dislike button. Subscribe to our channel Stocks 101 for more such videos. And as always, I will see you guys in the next one.